Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I have some really exciting news as AMD has officially launched Fidelity FX Super Resolution, otherwise known as FSR. Now, for quite some time on the channel, I have been talking about the technology and how it will benefit the next generation consoles. Now, everybody wanted to know how it would look and how it would perform, and I have to say the results are pretty impressive. Now, many outlets did some benchmarks today. They gave us different looks of the image quality from the presets, as well as the difference in FPS from the different modes. And I have to say, overall, it is a really convincing method. Now, the takeaway here for me was basically that if you run it at 4K or 1440p resolution, you are going to yield very good results if you use the ultra quality or the quality preset. Now when you use the lower presets, I have to say that you do see a difference in image quality. It doesn't look as sharp, it's a little bit more soft, it just doesn't look like the native resolution. However, you do get a very high FPS when choosing these modes. So I've always said that options are good for gamers. There's some gamers out there that perhaps in certain games, they won't really care so much about the image quality they want that high FPS and choosing the lower presets will give you that option however I think most gamers are gonna choose the ultra quality preset and the quality presets now what I can say from the results today is that they are pretty impressive now you can get up to 2.4 times increase in FPS but of course that's using the lower presets now I saw an average of about 40 to about 65 percent increase in FPS when using the ultra and the quality presets now that's pretty good now if you have a game that's running at 40 FPS using this would give you over 60 FPS and I have to say this is a very useful tool now I've really been clamoring for this on the next generation consoles as the consoles are not as powerful as their PC counterparts now DLSS which is Nvidia's solution it also is very similar to FSR however they do use some AI technology now their technology or the way that they do it is that they take a previous frame they analyze that image and then it spits out a better looking image now some cases it looks better than the native resolution now FSR it doesn't work quite the same way they take the current frame they do their algorithm on that they apply their features or whatever they're doing within the FSR algorithm and then you get the final result now I have to say even though it's not as advanced as DLSS we are seeing some pretty good results now as you can see from some of the benchmarks here we are yielding a much higher FPS when using FSR and like I've said previously on the consoles this is well needed now the reason why I think the consoles need is not for the regular games because most of the games are achieving 60 FPS now there are some odd games that aren't at 60 FPS and of course this FSR technology would help those games I really think it's gonna come into play for ray tracing on the next generation consoles now you you could use a higher ray tracing preset and use it coupled with FSR to yield much higher frame rates. Now most of the ray tracing games that are on the next generation consoles, they're running at 30 FPS. Now we do have the odd outlier like Resident Evil The Village, but for the majority of games that are running ray tracing on these next generation machines, they're at 30 FPS. Now FSR is really exciting for me because these games now have the potential to reach 60 FPS. FPS and I think that should be the golden standard going forward for the next generation consoles and I think FSR is the tool to bring these games to that metric. Now AMD has announced that Microsoft's next generation console will be running FSR as well as the PlayStation 5. However, Sony has not said when this will be on their system. In fact, they haven't commented on this at all. Now I know that they use their checkerboarding rendering technique and it is really effective, but I think FSR would be a better solution if not another option to bring higher frame rates to the PlayStation 5. Now Microsoft has officially announced that it will be coming to their console. Now the official statement read at X Xbox, we are excited about the potential of AMD's Fidelity FX super resolution technology as another great method for developers to increase frame rates and resolution. We'll have more to share soon. Now, I do expect Microsoft to announce this sooner than later on being on the Xbox Series X, and I think the first game would be Resident Evil The Village to show off this new technique. Now, Microsoft also has some other tricks up their sleeves, as the Xbox Series X does have some dedicated hardware in there for a machine 
machine learning AI. And I do think that this would be the perfect opportunity to couple it with FSR, which would make it more DLSS-like as it's using a neural network. Now we're gonna have to wait till Microsoft makes an official announcement on this, but in the meantime, we do know that FSR is coming and Microsoft is set to make an announcement on the first Xbox Series X games to receive this update. Anyways, I wanna know what you guys think about this. Like I said, I'm really excited for this technology on the next generation machines. I really do think that ray tracing is going to benefit from FSR. We're gonna get higher frame rates and some games that struggle to reach 60 FPS with this technique, we're also gonna have a much stable frame rate. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.